My name is Jack Bergstresser. I'm a division manager for USA Benefits Group, and I'm going to be your host for part three training, and we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. All right. The first thing we're going to talk about this afternoon is educating yourself for success. We're going to give you some suggestions here. We give you a lot of suggestions during your eight-part training. Whether you implement what we teach you is all up to you, but it has been proven to assist you in becoming successful. It's just like pulling a ripcord on a parachute. It's always suggested. You don't really have to do it, but the choice is yours. When we talk about educating yourself for success, the first thing that you want to set your sight on is completing the eight-part training program. And obviously, you're doing that because you're on part three training right now, and you want to make sure that you complete all eight parts knowing that you can come back through on a second time as a refresher course. So you want to complete the eight-part training, and that you also want to complete the four-part web tools training. And that's really critical because the web tools are such an integral part of what we do selling online. 90% of our business is sold over the phone online and so the web tools training is really critical and we want to make sure you go through those four parts. You also want to make sure you complete the exclusive USA Benefits Group carrier training for each product that you plan to sell through USA BG. This is where you're going to get with your manager if you haven't already done so and figure out which products you want to start off with. For most people, it's HII, CUL, Colorado Bankers, General Agent Center products, and whichever major medical carriers are going to be available in the states you're selling in. So get with your manager and get your game plan in place and make sure you're going through those specific trainings. Now, the trainings we have are put on by representatives of various insurance companies. They're completely designed to meet the marketing of the USA Benefits Group activities. The next thing you'll have access to is taking advantage of all the trainings like word of mouth marketing, digital marketing, life insurance, annuities, and senior products. Also, marketing on-demand trainings available. There are plenty of on-demand trainings in our back office and also through the various carriers with whom we do business. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the back office real quick and show you so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you go right here to the left, under quick links and you click on USA BG library then you'll see various trainings here and then down here at the bottom you'll see trainings on demand and if you click that this is where you're going to find all the on-demand trainings there are YouTube videos in here there are iBoomerang trainings HRA training Team Corp a lot of the new agent trainings PowerPoints that we use are in here as well once again, each of the carriers also has on-demand trainings on their website, so make sure you take advantage of these as well. Let's see, we'll go back here. All right, now remember that you are first and foremost a salesperson who happens to be selling an intangible product called insurance. Now, this I think is really critical point. It is a mindset issue, and I think a lot of people that get into the insurance business really don't grasp this. They see themselves as an insurance agent only. They become good at explaining the benefits and deductibles and features, but they really don't have the skills that are necessary to close sales. And if you don't have those skills, then the chances are you're not going to be very successful. So if you can see yourself primarily as a salesperson, then you make sure that you're available yourself of the training that you'll need to become the best salesperson, the best prospector, 
and lead generator, the best objection answerer, the best follow-up person, and the best at asking for referrals. All of these things are part of being a professional salesperson. And if you can see yourself as a professional salesperson, <clears throat> then you're going to want to take advantage of books that you can read about improving your sales skills, CDs, seminars, anything that can help you become a better salesperson. This will make the difference between failure and success in this industry. So what we've done is we put together a really dynamite program in our back office where you'll have access to six of the best all-time sales training programs ever created. So listen to all of these free audiobooks. They are listed in the USA BG library. So let's once again let's let's take a look and see what I'm talking about here. Once again you're going to go over here to the USA BG library and you're going to click on it. And let's go to the audiobooks. And here you go. So we have advanced selling techniques. And you click on the plus sign and you can see all the different chapters there. Advanced selling techniques is a Brian Tracy program. Now, he is one of the greatest all-time sales trainers. These are fantastic programs. We also have Close the Deal from Sandler Sales Institute right here. A tested system for success in selling. This program was actually being sold as classroom training for thousands and thousands of dollars. You also have Lead Ideas at Work with Don Runge, the lead guru. Also, The Power of Negotiating by Roger Dawson. Also, The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. That's one of my favorites. And then you have Think and Grow Rich by the iconic Holy in Hell program by Napoleon Hill. So, if every day you just came in here and listened to a couple of chapters a day, in a very short period of time, you will have accomplished the equivalent of a university degree in professional selling, and it's all here for you in our back office. Now let's go back to our slides. Now let's go to this one. Now we want to talk about investing in your business. As a professional insurance salesperson, you need to see yourself as somebody who is in business for yourself because you are. See yourself as an entrepreneur because that's exactly what you are. See yourself as a small business owner. That's what you are. So in order for any business to be successful, you have to invest in that business. The first thing we know is that professionals need to have high quality tools to be successful. You could be a dentist, you could be a carpenter, you could be a mason. It does not matter what your profession is. You need the best tools in order to be really good at what you do. So, you want to make sure you apply that to your business here in the insurance world. You have your personalized USA BG web embedded links. Make sure you set this up. Make sure your site is as good as it possibly can be. You also want to make sure that you have your high-speed internet because it's all based on bandwidth. You need to get the highest speed possible. It might cost a few more dollars per month, but trust me, it's well worth it. You need an up-to-date computer. Any computer that's over five years old is probably obsolete, and you probably need to update it. That's just the way it is in this technology world. Computers are constantly changing and improving, and they're not working, and they're not compatible with older operating systems. So if you have your computer and it's running an older version of Windows like Vista, it's out of date, and you need to get yourself something more up-to-date. Windows 7, in my opinion, is probably the best system right now. 
Uh, I've heard a lot of people having trouble with Windows 8, uh, but it is getting better. Uh, I understand there's a new Windows coming out soon if it hasn't already. So that that's supposed to be a lot better than Windows 8. So if you can get a new computer, I would look for Windows 7 type system if possible. But if not, that's okay. You also need a nationwide unlimited calling plan because eventually you're going to be expanding outside your own resident state and have several non-resident licenses. Typically, these plans run about $50 per month. This way, you can make as many calls as you want. You're also going to need a toll-free phone number so that your client will feel comfortable contacting you no matter where they live. Trust me, they will be less likely to call you if you don't have a toll-free phone number. It just adds to your image and your professionalism. The trust and credibility factor is important, so make sure you have a toll-free number. You're also going to want the iBoomerang Gold Package. It's highly recommended. It has all the tools that you need, including web conferencing. An email template tool that you can do drip marketing with. You can set up a 12-month marketing campaign with that. You can do volume marketing through a volume marketing campaign as well. The Leads Control Panel autoresponders are built right into it. Shortcut tool has an email marketing tool, contact management, an autoresponder, a calendar and appointment scheduler, a text marketer, a shortcut URL, etc. So if you want to sell online, you need to have the best package out there for selling online, and that is the iBoomerang Gold Package. So let's talk about leads. There are various sections of the training on leads, and that's because really this business is all about leads. If you don't have leads, you're not in the business. You can have the best contracts with the best companies, with the best products and the best rates. But if you don't have, have these things or people to talk to, then you're not in business. So it all comes down to leads. So what we know is that people who shop online buy online. More and more people are buying online now than ever before. When we first started doing this a little over 10 years ago, there was still a lot of people out there that were not involved in the online revolution. But today, it is prevalent across age brackets and among both sexes and other demographics. <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about shared leads versus exclusive internet leads. A lot of our agents buy these types of leads. There are a lot of companies out there that would love to sell you internet leads. In fact, go to Google or Bing and type in health insurance lead, you will literally get hundreds and hundreds of companies with these leads that will pop up. Now, the reality is that most of them are pure garbage, but there are some good companies out there. Now, we've scoured the market already. We've researched and field tested these leads to the nth degree and found there is a small handful of companies that we can recommend and can endorse. We have negotiated on your behalf and usually have been successful in obtaining much better pricing than you can get out there on your own. So number one, you're going to get high quality leads and number two, you're going to get the best possible pricing and number three, you're going to get the best possible customer service and the reason of that is because they want our business. We have over 500 agents and they are they are wanting our agents to buy their leads. They're going to be more likely to help you as a USA Benefits Group agent because they don't want to lose the overall account. So there are a lot of compelling reasons why you want to utilize the companies that we recommend. You can find them in the back office in the lead area. If you're going to buy, if, if you, if you're going to buy internet leads, then understand that you can buy a shared lead or you can buy an exclusive lead. For example, Norvax is a company with whom we have a great relationship with and their lead company is called Prospect Zone. 
Now, if you call them directly, they will be more than happy to sell you the shared lead and change you and charge you actually about $7 a piece. But if you're affiliated with USA Benefits Group, guess what? That $7 now goes down to about $2 per lead. So you are saving a big chunk of money right there. Now, Benepath is another company that we recommend. Benepath is a small boutique lead outfit that only deals with exclusive leads. So a little bit of a different animal, a little more expensive, but they're not selling that lead to anyone else. So what is the difference between a shared lead and an internet lead? Well, really the only difference is that a shared lead may be sold to several agents and an exclusive lead is not. Now that doesn't mean that the client didn't go to another website and generated a lead, so still got called by another agent. So there's no guarantee it's truly an exclusive lead, but there is a guarantee that the company did not sell it to any other agents. Telemarketing leads are truly exclusive. There has been a real resurgence for telemarketing leads. So a lot of our top agents are purchasing them from a company called Prospect America. We have been working with telemarketing leads for about 26 years. And what I can tell you is that we write a ton of business off of telemarketing leads. However, what you have to remember is that half of them are not going to get you the desired results. So listen to this. If you buy 20 leads, you'll probably get 10 appointments. And out of those 10 appointments, you should be able to sell between three and five. Ultimately, you might not sell them at all the first week, or you might not sell them the first month. So what you do is you follow up with them religiously and you keep, you keep contact with them. We have an old saying about how long you should call your leads. Here's your answer. You call them until they buy or until they die. You never give up. So telemarketing leads are doing very well right now, and I recommend these. You're also going to earn lead credits or marketing credits from a lot of the companies with whom we do business. With USABG, you will get a $50 lead bonus from HII products as long as you collect the $95 enrollment fee. You'll get a $25 lead bonus from CUL and Family Life products as well. Team Corp is still paying $50 or $30 lead bonus on their products. And then AHCP is still paying out some modest leads, lead credits. And they have a whole system where you can go into the e-agent center where you can purchase leads through various vendors that have authorized. There's a 90-day expiration date on the AHCP lead credits, so take advantage of these. Now, we also want to take advantage of B leads. We write a ton of business off of B leads. So what in the heck is this B lead? It's really a telemarketing lead that's been recirculated, probably hadn't been sold, or people may or may not have bought. And they are typically self-employed, small business owners who always who are always in the market for a good health insurance plan. So the B leads that we utilize are routinely sold for anywhere between two and four dollars a piece. Occasionally the company will run a big promotion and sell them once a year for one dollar a piece. But guess what? You can get them through us at USABG for only 50 cents each. This is an unbeatable price for a B lead. Now also remember that traditional methods of prospecting still work. So for example, referrals are always going to get you the highest closing ratio. The best way to get referrals is using our dining vouchers. These are $50 dining vouchers through restaurant.com that you can purchase for only $5 each. So let me ask you, would you spend $5 for the best possible lead, which is a referral? Of course you would. Also, advertising still works. People still read the newspapers. 
Now, we don't recommend that you put an ad in a large daily newspaper, but rather that you think more along the lines of the weekly community paper, where you run a small ad in the service section for a very small amount of investment. Now, direct mail, it's still a good way to generate leads. You can utilize mass mailings or a pre-approach letter. Believe it or not, direct mail response rates have been increasing over the last several years. Also, networking is a huge area that agents should take advantage of. We recommend that you simply attend our monthly word of mouth marketing training that is usually taking place on a Wednesday afternoon. I think it's Wednesday. It might have changed to Monday and it will be announced on our weekly sales call. Man, we have the two guys that are the absolute kings of networking. Their names are Jamie Stein and Lee Parker. They host this training every month with a different topic each month and they do a fantastic job. Besides that, they will answer any questions you have and show and show you how to get into your local BNI, Business Network International Chapter, and show you how to get into your local Chamber of Commerce and how to work that so you get business out of those experiences. Okay, so the next topic is planning for success. And what we want to try to understand is that working from home does not equate to being at home. You have to learn how to create between your family life or your home life and your work life. Sometimes it's just hard to do that when you're working at your house. Some tips would be to make sure you have a private area where there's no distractions, maybe a separate guest room or an office in the basement or an attic, getting separated from the rest of the house. Now, I've heard of some agents who were unable to work under those conditions, and so ultimately, they actually had to go outside and rent space because it was just impossible for them to work at home. There are too many interruptions, too many distractions. It was impossible for them to focus on their business. Now, that is the exception. Just remember that you have to create the difference between being at home and being at work. Plan your day and stick to it. This is a big one. You have to have self-discipline to stick to your game for working every day. And once again, don't let things distract you and don't let interruptions distract you. You have to stay focused on the goal that you have. And if you don't, then you'll end up with no business. One thing that a lot of our top agents do is they set up daily goals. It's called the rule of 80. So a way that this works is that you set a goal to make 80 calls per day. That's 80 people you talk to. That's not a phone call with a busy signal or an answering machine or no answer. A call is when you actually speak to another human being. The goal has to be 80 calls a day, but then you give yourself a 10 call credit for every presentation that you do. For example, if you were able to make four bona fide presentations that day, you would get a 40 call credit. So now you only need to make 40 additional calls. So as long as you stick to those 80 calls per day, then you'll do very well. Also, make sure you get out a couple of times a day. We usually spend a lot of time on the phone, anywhere from six to eight hours. And it, it it makes sense just to get outside so so that you should go for a walk or take a bike ride or just sit on the back porch and recharge your batteries a little bit. You have to take the breaks and it really does help you by getting outside. Make sure you balance your work week between work, play, family responsibilities, and so on. Plan all your personal and non-working activities and make it the first thing that you do for the week. You write everything down in your day timer or on your calendar or on the USABG calendar. You can use that calendar for your personal stuff too and integrate it all together. Take care of whatever family obligations you have, children's activities, social commitments, or whatever. 60 to 80 hours of work is too much. 15 to 
30 hours of work is too little. Schedule yourself 35 to 50 hours of work every week. Now, this is a sample work schedule, and it shows a 44-hour work schedule that some of our agents have utilized, and it has worked very well. The way that it works <clears throat> is that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you have seven hours on the calendar. 9 to 12 on the phone, then break for lunch. You come back from 1 to 2 and do administrative work. 2 to 5 is on the phone. Now notice that we're designating specific hours of the day for specific tasks like administrative. Otherwise, you're going to wind up spending 6 hours on administrative to work and 2 hours on selling. On Tuesday and Thursday, schedule 9 hours. 9 to 12 on the phone, 1 to 2 administrative, and 2 to 5 on the phone, and an additional component, which is 7 to 9 p.m. on the phone. And we know that your closing ratio goes up with appointments in the evening. You can add another day where you have an evening session as well. We also write a ton of business on the weekend. So, if you're going to do that, then there's certain times that, that work and there's certain times that don't work. For example, on Saturday, 9 to 12, if you get outside of that, you're basically wasting your time. Saturday morning, you can write yourself a ton of business, and a lot of our agents do just that. The same thing on Sunday night, between 7 and 9, you can also write business, but don't even waste your time during the day. People are at church, visiting family, and all kinds of things. So if you utilize this work schedule, it will give you 44 hours. And if you follow this religiously, I don't see any reason, any possible way that you could not be tremendously successful in this business. It really all comes down to your work ethic. It comes down to your discipline. It comes down to a numbers game. You buy the leads, you make the calls, and you put in the hours, then those sales are going to come. If you talk to someone that is struggling in this business, typically, here's the problem. A, they don't have enough money to buy leads. B, they're not spending enough time selling. They're spending all their time setting up their office and going to training, learning products, or talking to companies, trying to get the next best contract. They're never spending any time selling the product or following up with their clients so keep that in mind as well. The next thing that we'll talk about is contacting your prospects. Contacting your prospects is really important. We're going to give you a little bit of a track to run on here, and it might sound something like this. Hey, Bob, my name is Jack Bergstresser. I am a life health insurance specialist here with USA Benefits Group. We are one of the top insurance agencies in the nation, and we've been in business since 1988. We currently enjoy an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. It doesn't get any better than that, and I'm really proud of that. And it just so happens you were recently on one of our affiliated websites looking for information on health insurance. Now, if this is a telemarketing lead, you might change it a little bit. It might sound something like this. You know, Bob, you recently spoke to one of our operators about health insurance. And if you're like most people, you're probably confused, maybe a little frustrated about the current health insurance situation in the country today. Since I am the health insurance specialist, guess what? I can help you navigate your way through this maze and help you find the best plan for your individual situation. This might be an Obamacare plan, or it might be an alternative that could prove to be more affordable and provide you with better coverage in the long run. I do need to ask you some questions so, so we can determine which plan is going to be the best for you. So that's kind of the approach we're talking out there, and this is the tactic that works best. Now, Income will be a determining factor. In the past, in this industry, the sensitive questions always dealt with the client's his health history. 
Well, guess what? That's all changed now. With the advent of Affordable Care Act, or some of us affectionately refer to this as the Unaffordable Care Act, the new sensitive questions are going to be dealing with their household income. This is really critical. If a client falls below 400% of the federal poverty level, or FPL, they could be a good client for an ACA plan. This is because they could be eligible for a federal tax subsidy that can lower their cost or maybe eliminate their cost for health insurance. Now, 400% of the federal poverty level is approximately, oh, it's, it's actually, it says 40,000 here, but I think it's $45,960 per year per individual and approximately 94,200, even though it says 80,000 per year for the family, but will likely depend on how many kids they have and so on. So you're gonna run, wanna run their specific criteria through one of our subsidy calculators to make a final determination. And we've created these for our agents, not only a personalized website, but also your own personalized exchange site. You're actually going to be provided with a separate website, and on that exchange site, you'll have access to USA Benefits Group Exchange Concierge Program. You're also going to have access to the various calculators, whether it's the Kaiser calculator, the healthcare.gov calculator, or the HI subsidy calculator. You also have access to plenty of the other information about Obamacare, short-term plans, and defined contribution plans, and so on and so forth. So we're creating the tools that you're going to need to be successful in this new arena. Now, the unhealthy clients that are above 400% of the federal property level and therefore not eligible for subsidy may be interested in an ACA plan that can be sold off the exchange where you don't have to be certified to sell. If you have a client who qualified for it and wants a subsidy, then you have to be certified to sell on it, the exchange, also known as the marketplace or the Federal Facilitated Marketplace, FFM. You'll either need to be certified to sell on the FFM or you can put these clients through our concierge service program. So healthy clients that are above 400% of the federal poverty level would be good candidates for what we call the bridge plan. So very simply, folks, this is a short-term medical plan that will allow the client to delay the onset of Obamacare for at least one year and hopefully for even longer than that. In the past, we would have never dreamt of selling somebody a short-term medical plan unless they were between jobs or had less than a year before they became eligible for Medicare. It wasn't feasible solution, but because of the inherent risk that's involved with a short-term medical plan expiring, but things have changed. And in this day and age, if the short-term plan expires, the client can get a guaranteed issue Obamacare plan as long as it's during the open enrollment period. The trick is the timing to prevent any lapse in coverage. So this is the case for the short-term medical. This is really the biggest component of what we expect to have here in 2015. So please, play, please pay close attention because this is your main focus and it is the track to run on. A short-term medical plan is nothing more than a major medical plan that has a termination date, therefore reducing the risk to the carrier. It also has several knockout underwriting questions, so it is not guaranteed issue or guaranteed acceptance. This results in more affordable premiums. In fact, a typical short-term medical bridge plan is 40 to 60% less than an ACA plan and usually has better coverage with less PPO restrictions and penalties. These are millions of people. There are a lot of people out there and it's just our job to find them. These lower premiums will also allow for additional ancillary products such as total protection plans and accident plans and it creates what we refer to at USA Benefits Group as a total protection plan. Even when you factor in the penalty for not having a qualified ACA plan, 
clients can still save thousands of dollars. And because short-term medical plans fall outside of health care reform, and they can offer much higher commissions. In fact, most cases, the short-term medical commissions are two to three times higher than ACA plans. This is a powerful point. The average first-year commission on total protection plan is somewhere between $1,600 and $2,000. It should definitely be the focus area of your marketing effort here in 2015, going into 2016. That's a sweet spot. That's what you want to concentrate on. That doesn't mean you're not going to trip over other business, but you will be writing business because we have plenty of options for you to write, but that is, that is what you have to be hunting for. You're hunting for gold, and this is it right here, folks. This is the big gold nugget. You're also bound to come across little nuggets here and there. So what is the risk to your client under this new marketing strategy? Well, first of all, if your client is covered under short-term medical plan and they remain relatively healthy, and then they can requalify for another short-term medical plan and at the end of the year or whatever the time frame is. So you have to remember that the short-term medical plans are not for unhealthy people. They are for healthy people, but it also results in another full first-year commission paid to the writing agent, where the past, of course, we were selling for a piddly little renewal commission, and now we don't have to do that anymore. If the client experiences a major sickness or an accident, that requires ongoing treatment, guess what? The short-term medical plan will pay the claim. And if the health conditions is significant enough to make them ineligible to requalify for another short-term medical plan, then of course, what's the client going to do? They're going to sign up for an ACA plan during the open enrollment period. Just let your clients know that if they buy the bridge plan today, then they're going to have to make a decision for the next year. And that decision, is, it's going to have to be made no later than probably December 15th. So between November 15th and December 15th, the open enrollment will take place estimated during that time for the 2016 Open Obama, o Obama Care Plan with the January 1st start date. If they need to get on that plan, then that is what when they are going to have to sign up. But if for some reason, let's say they buy a short-term medical plan towards the end of the year, and let's say they buy a plan in September and they're healthy, what they might want to do is just buy another short-term medical plan on January 1st. This is where they get the ultimate protection, where you can further protect your client, of course, by coordinating the effective date of the short-term medical plan with the open enrollment period. So what do you do if the client cannot qualify for the short-term medical plan? because there's questions and they might not qualify. So what do you do? The client that medically, that cannot medically qualify for a short-term medical plan will have several options. If they're above 400% of the federal poverty level, then they can purchase an ACA plan through one of our off exchange carriers. And we have five of them. Yes, I'm counting five. We have Golden Rule, we have Assurant, we have Humana, we have Aetna, and we have Coventry. Actually, Assurant might have just gotten, I think they just got out of business, so we have four of them right now. Uh, if they are below 400% of the federal poverty level, then they can purchase an ACA plan through one of our exchange carriers. They will want one of our subsidy programs. 
you can refer them to our concierge program. If they can't afford an ACA plan, then you can place them in a high quality defined benefit plan like CUL, First Choice, or Family Life in Florida. We used to call these plans limited medical plans, but today we call them a defined benefit plan. These are absolutely great options for people who cannot afford ACA and do not have subsidy eligibility. You will also have the option of getting an ACA plan in the future during the open enrollment period. Now, a small note here, don't forget that you can always place the healthy members of the family on a short-term medical plan and place only the unhealthy members on the limited medical or on the ACA plan. That really shows you the strategies that we're looking for here in 2015 and going on 16. One thing that we haven't touched on and we're not going to touch on this training session is small group market. That is covered in another training class. We are excited about this market because we believe that anywhere from 40 million to over 100 million people could exit the small group market within the next several years and it's going to create a huge market force. We are going to be well prepared to be in that market. We will have all of the tools and products, everything that you are going to need in order to do that. Maybe not everybody wants to do that, but they are certainly going to be available to everybody. Either way, you're going to want to use your USABG website. You're going to want to talk about USABG Benefit Group. So make sure that you utilize the affiliation with us to your advantage because you're going to be much more likely to make it if you're part of this large national organization that's been around since 1988 that enjoys an A-plus rating, and so on. And if you are this kind of rogue independent agent that's off on their own, that has created their own website, so piggyback off our credibility. Show them that Better Business Bureau rating. Show them your picture and your insurance license. There are agents out there that don't even have a license that talk to clients about insurance. Use that to your advantage. And of course, tell them about the web conference. Have, have them join you on a web conference. Also, this site is included in your signature agent package. There are still a lot of people out there that are still really amazed by this technology, and rightly so. Even though a few short years ago, we thought that something like this couldn't be possible, but today, it's a pretty common place. We use it for recruiting purposes training purposes, and obviously for sales. So use it to your advantage. There's still a lot of people out there that haven't seen something like this, and there are a lot, a lot, a lot of agents out there that don't use a system like this. You also have a USA BG Exchange site. Now this site allows you to do business in a small group conversion market by offering employees an opportunity to convert their group health insurance to individual coverage through your own private health insurance exchange. It has links to pertinent information and resources as well as subsidy calculators and access to the USA BG Exchange Concierge. This site is connected to your USA BG subsite and is included at no additional charge if you have the web tools package with iBoomerang. Now, follow-up is essential for your long-term success. So when you make a sale, that's really just the beginning of building the, that relationship and keeping that relationship and making it even stronger. So here is what we recommend. We recommend after you close that sale that you send your client a thank you email through our email template tool that will provide a very professional looking email template with a banner across the top with graphics on it you will be able to go in and pick off the template that has been created in the past, or you can create your own templates and add new ones. Include their name of the plan, network the cost with the application fee, the cost thereafter, 
and the cost of the association if they have one. Attach copies of the application in the brochure. Whenever possible, include all your contact information and the link to your website. Then you want to set up a 12-month marketing campaign. Now, what is a 12-month marketing campaign? There are templates in the email template tool, and you can go in and build this 12-month marketing campaign so that you determine which emails that they get during which month. One month, it might be critical illness insurance, so you create your own campaign. And then once you start that campaign, you don't have to do anything else. Your computer will automatically send out those emails on a predetermined date in the future, so that's what we call drip marketing. That's where you put the power to work for you. Call your client the day after the sale to solidify the deal. As you know, people kind of get cold feet and they wonder if they made the right decision. I never spoke to that person before and I, I only spoke to that person a couple of times on the phone. I wonder if it's even legitimate. <clears throat> if you call them the next day and you say, how's everything going? you'll really solidify that deal. It's well worth several minutes it would take you to do that. You then call the week after and ask if they have any questions. Did you receive the policies? Do you have your ID cards? Do you understand how the plan works? Do you have any questions about the plan? And this is a great time to ask for referrals and I highly recommend you buy the dining vouchers and you put them in your conversation. So you, you would say, hey, Bob, you know, I thrive in this business daily based on the recommendation of my clients and that other people might consider doing business with me. I would like to offer you a $50 dining voucher so you can take your spouse or your friend out to dinner on me. All I ask in return is you give me the name of two people that you know who are self-employed and have to pay for their own health insurance and really might be interested in finding a solution to their health insurance dilemma. Now, usually you ask for two and typically you'll get one. And believe me, for $5, that has to be the most cost-effective lead you'll ever have. This establishes credibility and builds trust as well. And it pretty much all works hand in hand. So, <clears throat> 10 things you must do to be successful. One, you need to set your goals and write them down. Two, invest $1,000 to $1,500 per month in leads. Three, work 40 plus hours per week. Four, get licensed in multiple states. Five, use the iBoomerang tools. Six, utilize the USABG training program. Seven, attend the weekly sales call every week. Eight, attend the USABG sales conference. Nine, sell the total protection plan. That's that sweet spot. And 10, sell small group conversions. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is agent support. Who do you call and who do you contact? There's a whole system in place here for you. The first thing you need to do is download and print and read the agent reference guide. You can find this in the getting started area in the back office. For anything related to USABG, your first line of support is always your upline manager. Do get in the habit of talking to your manager on a daily basis and not more frequently than that. If you have any questions, you go to them first. The USABG Home Office can help you if you have specific questions or problems that your direct upline cannot help you with. Anita handles anything related to contracting. Once your contract has been submitted to the carrier, Anita is not notified when you have been approved. That comes directly to you from the carrier. carrier. Uh, Ashley handles questions related to navigating the USABG website or anything related to your personal subsite. iBoomerang is available to assist you with any questions or problems related to web tools package 
and products. You can email, chat, or contact them by phone. And first and foremost, all the carrier contact information is absolutely invaluable. You want to log into your back office. You want to go back to that USABG library, click on Carrier Resources, and click on Carrier Contacts. In fact, let me show you. So here you are. You're going to go to your USABG library. Then you're going to click on, whoops, I clicked on the wrong thing. There it comes. You're going to go to USABG library. Then you're going to click on Carrier Resources. And then you're going to click on Carrier Contacts. And here it comes. So you'll you'll see all this. This is a printable document. As you can see here, it shows you the phone numbers, the emails of each carrier. You should print this out. And you should keep it by your side. This is your cheat sheet. You need to have it at your disposal at all times. So there you have it. That is the completion of part three training. I thank you all for being on this call, and I wish you all good selling, and I look forward to seeing you on the boards. Give me a handshake at the next sales meeting.